Hello and welcome back to California Geology. I am Dr. Robert Lopez. Today I want to look at lava domes and talk about the Plinian cycle eruption. I always have a couple of questions on the exam, exam about the Plinian cycle. And here is Panem Crater. Panem Crater is in the Mono, uh, in the, in the, near Mono Lake, in the part of the Mono Crater's uh, volcanic chain. And you can clearly see that there is a lava dome that's sitting right over the vent. And here is a tephra ring, the tough ring or tephra ring. And then there is our lava dome sitting right in the middle there. Uh, so recall that the lava domes sit right in the vent. This viscous lava wells up into the crater. Uh, if, you get, if you squeeze like a, imagine you had some toothpaste, you're squeezing that, squeezing that out of the tube there, it'll come up and if enough comes out, it'll kind of fall over and tumble as broken rubble going down the sides of the flank of the volcano here. But the key thing that there's this viscous magma plugs up the vent. Now, um, where this is, this is a uh, Mono Lake in the eastern Sierra Nevada. A little town of, of uh, Lee Vining would be here, and then the road goes up towards Yosemite, toward the west there. And if we look down uh, here, right on the, the south shore of Mono Lake is Panem Crater. You can see there's Panem Crater, uh, these lava flows called coolies. We'll explain what those are here in a moment. Crater Mountain, a very large crater. Uh, that's north and south Crater Mountains. And here's another big lava flow coolie. And these all range down into the to the um, the Inyo craters. So if we go down, you can kind of see these explosion pits. There's lava domes, explosion pits, lava flows. Variety. Here's Wilson Butte, another another nice lava dome. And here's some other ones uh, called the Inyo craters that go down into Long Valley Caldera and Mammoth Mountain. So here's another photo looking of, at these Mono craters, right? So they have the nice peaky lava domes there, right? And some of these are flows that came down the side here. So I want to talk about what this Plinian cycle is. So Plinian eruptions, you develop a lava dome, and if you have enough magma squeezing out of that, that volcanic center, you get a very thick viscous, a steep-sided lava flow called a coulee. So the first phase, we call it the, the phreatic gas charge phase. So this word phreatic means um, water. There's water involved. And usually what's happening as a magma is moving up through the crust, it's going to encounter groundwater. And so that magma is so hot that it's going to flash that, that groundwater into steam. So that steam causes these, these explosions, these phreatic explosions, that the water expands to steam and these the, the, the pieces of material go up in the air and they land up in the air and that's called tephra, right? The tephra explodes up into the air and it makes this nice circular cone called a tephra cone. Tephra cone or tephra ring. Here, a tough ring, tephra cone. Now, uh, at some point, the, the gas, the water dries out. The magma keeps moving up, the water dries out. Now we're gonna enter a low gas phase, which means it's dehydrated. There's not as much water. And we're going to have this very thick, viscous um, uh, magma well up into that, that volcanic vent. And if that's it, if that's all the magma, it's going to form this lava dome or lava plug, just like Panem Crater is in this stage here. But if there's more magma down there making its way up and squeezing its way through the feeder dike, it's going to shoulder this material aside and cause it to flow down the flank of this... Um, of this tough ring into a very steep-sided flow called a coulee. If enough magma issues from the vent, a steep-sided lava flow uh, forms called a coulee. And so in those mono craters, uh, inyo domes, inyo crater areas in, along the eastern Sierra Nevada, there are several examples. This is ex th these are the inyo craters, the inyo craters, and note there's, uh, there's explosion pits. So this would be the phase one these explosion pits with the, with the tough ring only around uh, these craters. We mentioned that Panem Crater is actually not a crater at all. It's actually, it's a lava dome. It's misnamed. Panem Crater is a lava dome. So this represents phase two of that Plinian cycle eruption. And finally, uh, the, the coolies. This is North Cooley. This lava flow, uh, enough magma issued where we made a really steep uh, lava flow. Uh, going down. The, so imagine these trees. These trees are probably 40 to 50 feet tall. So you can say it's a really 
steep sided flow. In the background, we see the High Sierra. There's Ritter and Banner back over here in the High Sierra, um, looking toward the west here. So looking at our at our image over here, we see the the Cooley flows here, right? There's yeah, there's the North Cooley. Panem Crater is up here in the north here. North Cooley. There's also South Cooley, a very thick lava flow that came through here. In fact, both of these are around 600 years old, so they're relatively recent. So is Panem Crater, relatively young eruptions. So anyhow, there is our our uh, Plinian cycle. Um, and we'll see you next time.